But first to the ABC comedy series, Utopia. Nation building is flourishing. Major infrastructure projects are underway. But back in the office, the internet still doesn't work. Health and safety rules. And the meetings just get bigger. The new series of Utopia follows on from the office failures of the previous year. And Tony, played by Rob Sitch, is keen to focus on a huge Darwin project, which is tantalisingly close to being signed off. But yet again, the bureaucracy intervenes and priorities shift. Jim Gibson, played by Anthony Lehman, is the interface between the authority and the government, and his arrival always brings problems. You wanted to see me? You wanted to see me. Did I? Yeah, and you're early. So, what's his problem? I told you yesterday, we solved the problems. Really? Yeah. Yeah, it's just that I was chatting to someone in Treasury. Why are you ringing Treasury? Yeah, it was about something else, sort of mentioned Badgeries Creek in passing, and that you guys were having a bit of strife. But we're not. You said something about terminal problem. No, I said there'd be an air freight terminal. Oh, I must have just heard terminal. Yes. And it's really exciting to be able to welcome Rob Sitch to our studio. Rob, welcome. Thanks, Margaret. I'm interested in writing of this show. You direct it, you star in it. I mean, it's an enormous load. How long does it take to write a series like this? Because you co-write with Tom Gleisner and Santo Tulario, don't you? We do. It took us a couple of years to learn what the show was and we experimented with a lot. So the second series was sort of maybe nine months a year, but it's, it's enjoyable because people will say things that we follow up on. We were talking to someone at the ABC who said, we were asking about his, you know, his new high-powered job and he said, oh, Workplace health and safety is driving me mad. <laughs> and it seems such a funny thing to say, so we followed it up. And, and, it's, and that sort of little bit of madness is, is all we need. The show seems to be built around this particular trick, doesn't it, really, of the uh, contrast, the tension, really, the comic tension between the, the dreams that governments have of infrastructure and the, the realities of a politically correct office. It is. It's, um, you know, the old game of rock beats scissors is mar marginal seat beats infrastructure. So, <laughs> <laughs> so we... <laughs> even the funny things, we, were, we did an episode on Badgeries Creek because um, we ran into a former politician from Queensland. He said, oh, have you heard about that international airport a guy built on his farm? <laughs> and he did it in 18 months. And it's one of those things you think, that can't be true. And, of course, it is. I was really curious to know whether you're inspired by Yes Minister. Yes Minister and Yes Prime Minister is my favourite show of all time. And, and I remember that because when I was 17, my older brother recommended it to me and I said, I think the phrase was, you've got to be effing kidding me. I'm going to watch a show about politics. What are you proposing to do? I shall appoint someone. And when did you take this momentous decision? Today, when I read the papers. But when did you first think of it? Today, when I read the papers. One of the things I love about it, whenever I watch it, is, is this curious balance of substance, fantastic characters, and it's really quite silly. And one of the things that I thought we'd do in Utopia, as I kept reminding all the others, is let's keep throwing in silly things, because, you know, that's what happens in real life. It's amazing if you, if you keep your radar up how many ridiculously silly things you, you do in, 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 a, in a given week. Rob, it's, it strikes me that underneath all the silliness and the fun, there's serious intent in this. It, it, I think marketing is, is winning the battle. And I said a bunch of times, and I think if you've got a bad policy with a good slogan, you're better off than a great policy with a terrible slogan. And, and I reckon that pe the use of words has almost got scientific now. And so it's sort of, it's up to, I don't know, people like me and groups like us to actually have a counter, counter, counterfactual or a counter language to it. Rob Sitch, thanks very much for joining us and uh, let's just hope the show keeps rating and let's uh, keep hoping that uh, life keeps following art in this case. Thanks very thanks, much, Rob. Congratulations. Thanks, Rob. Thanks, Margaret. Yeah.